This is Brisha Borden. When she was 18, her and a friend took an unlocked child's bike and scooter and rode it down the street before a neighbor called the police. This is Vernon Pratter, and at 41 years old, he was arrested for stealing tools at Home Depot. Brisha's record consisted of juvenile misdemeanors when she was a kid. Vernon, on the other hand, had already been convicted of armed robbery in addition to another armed robbery charge and has spent five years in jail. But when they were booked into jail for these most recent crimes, a computer program that aims to predict future criminal behavior assigned Brisha a high risk score of eight and Vernon a low risk score of three. Three years later, Brisha hasn't been charged with any new crimes and Vernon, on the other hand, is serving an eight year sentence for robbing a warehouse. ProPublica launched an investigation and examined over 7,000 risk scores made by computers in this particular county in Florida. The algorithm incorrectly labeled black defendants as high risk almost twice as likely than white defendants and incorrectly labeled white defendants as low risk more than double black defendants. So what's happening here? The algorithm is taking the racial bias present in Florida's criminal justice system and exacerbating it. This software is built by company North Point and it's the most commonly used software for risk assessment scores in the country. But equally as alarming is North Point's denial of any algorithmic bias. And they claim there is no bias because in the 137 questions they use to give you the risk score, they don't ask explicitly for your race. But that's because they don't have to. From postal codes to names, an algorithm can still identify the patterns associated with certain groups of people over others. And of the variables that they do use, some are incredibly questionable, like asking if your parents have ever committed a crime, which means in some ways your risk score could be affected by what your parents did, and therefore your sentence could be longer because of what they did. Algorithms are simply a reflection of the data that powers them and are impacted by the opinions of the coders that built them. But that data often comes from society and society has biases, major ones. If we aren't thorough with auditing and reviewing and searching for algorithmic bias at every step along the way, we are at a very high risk of perpetuating societal biases and historical power imbalances. From insurance premiums to medical triage, there are many places in our world where algorithms are starting to make really important decisions. I'm gonna share these types of examples so you feel empowered in the real world and know when to ask for an algorithmic audit if you don't think something is fair.